All right, today I want to show you how you can create a customized lock screen for your website and why that would even be um, an issue. So basically, this is a, a test site that is not live right now. It's not ready to be live because I haven't upgraded. I'm still working on the content within the site. I don't want it to be public and I don't want people to see it. When you're in settings, you'll notice that um, it automatically defaults to private for your website until you have clicked upgrade and then you are going to select public when you are ready to it, for it to be public. In the meantime, though, I can actually, rather than it just be private, because right now, if I were to share this link, let me put it in another browser. So perhaps maybe I want to share this with the client so that they can see what the website looks like as I'm working on it. Or maybe I want my client wants to share it with some friends or you as a website, you know, building your own website, want to share it with some friends just to get their feedback. You would want to share the URL for, with them so they can see the site as it's working. Unfortunately, when it's set to private, only you as the owner or contributor can log in. So if I come here and I change it to password protected, I can now put in a password. I'm going to call this one just password and I'm going to say save. And now when I come back over here and I refresh, it's now going to take me to a generic lock password page. I can type in the word password and it will immediately jump me into the site. So now I can view the site as a work in progress without being in the admin side of things. So that is one reason why you would use a password page. Another reason is, let's say I'm building my website and I want to have a customized client login page. So I can come to my main navigation. I'm just gonna put a blank page in and call it client login. So maybe this is a page where I want to have specific information just for my clients. It's gonna be private, maybe it's special links or something along those lines. So I can edit the content. I'm just gonna say test so that we can see what it will look like. Now in the settings for this page, right now it's public and anyone can see it, but if I go into the settings and scroll down to password, I can type in, I'll put in test again, and now this page is going to be locked. So you will see, let me refresh this really quickly. You will see on this page that there's a little teeny tiny lock next to it. That is showing me that I have it password protected and no one else can see it. So if I come back over here to this page or this URL and refresh it so that it reflects the changes and I click in here, find my client login, I am again now going to see that password protected page. I can enter test and it will jump me in, in theory, to that page that we had. So there we go. So th those are two reasons why we might want to have a password protected page. But as you can see, that password prote protected page is pretty boring. So depending on, you know, if you're a designer and you want to share this, um, share the site as a work in progress with your clients, it's kind of fun to do something that's a little bit more branded or customized to them. If it is actually a, um, a page that you know, like for instance, a client login page or a page that you know you're always going to want to be password protected, then obviously I think you're going to want to have it um, branded and maybe even put some directions or something along those lines in there. Let me get out of this because it's going to be a part of your website forever. So for instance, in my training section, I have a login button for my online video courses for my Squarespace marketing series. It is password protected because I want um, I want basically people to have to enter the password in that I gave them in order to access this material because I charge for it. So um, this is what a more customized page looks like. You can customize it in many, many different ways and make it truly beautiful. So for instance, here is another website that I have done. She would like to have a, um, it is for, Oh, here we go. For investors, it's a private page. She does not want anyone else to be able to access it. So in 
her case, oh, I think we actually she opened it up, so that was a bad example. But in her case, she has some amazing imagery. So when we did her password protected page, we actually used a lot of the images that she has in her website and created an actual um, gallery. So I'll show you how we can do that as well. Um, so on this site, we are going to go back in to the admin mode. We are going to go to design and we are going to go to lock screen. Now your screen is going to look the same for all of your pages. You can change the password for different pages. Like so for instance, my marketing series login has one password. My um, design series login has a different password. Every page can be password protected with a different password and the site can have a different password, but this lock screen is going to look the same for every single one. So you wanna make sure that the verbiage um, is a little bit more general and the design is a little bit more general if you're using it for multiple pages. So we have several different layouts that we can choose from. Um, let's say, and they have different verbiage, but you can obviously completely customize the verbiage in here as well. So let me just choose this one for right now to start with. I will say save. And now I can go to branding and text. So here is where I can add a logo if I want to, and I would just simply upload the logo. Um, or I can change the text to be whatever I want it to say. Oops, and make sure you spell it correctly. Um, my headline can say whatever I want to say. Um, so we can have it say like in progress or it can say um, log in here or something like that, it doesn't matter. Now your body, this can be where you can say, you know, if you don't have your password, please email me um, at this uh, email or purchase here. So you can also include links. So this purchase can actually be highlighted and linked to your purchase page if you wanted to do that. You can also, if, you, if you're doing it for a designer or for a friend and you really don't care who looks at the back end of your website because you're just sharing it with people that you might want their advice and their opinions, you can actually say, please use the password test. Now again, this only works if you're using it for one um, page and they are multiple pages with the same password. If this is the entire site that's protected, it's fine, but you're gonna wanna kind of just keep in mind what you're using this for. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that save there. Media, this is where you can add a slideshow if you wanted. So for instance, with the Romeo and Juliet page, she had a few different images in here um, that we used. Let's grab a couple of her pictures here. And once the images have uploaded, then it will start a slideshow, um, which is just kind of a nice way to add a little bit more um, visual appeal to the website. Style, we can actually completely customize and change the branding. So if we wanted to change the um, font style to one that fit your overall website branding, you could do that. We can change the colors. Um, we can do all of that customization with just like you can do in the website here. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And let's see if we can now see. It may not let me because we've already been in here once, but let's see. Yep, it's going to force me this way. Let's try it this way. So we are going to go to new tab so we can see what this lock screen looks like now. Oh, and it's going to, I'm already logged in. Whoops, hold on one second. Let's log me out so that it doesn't force me back in the admin side. And thank you for being patient. So we're logging out. Perfect. Okay, so now I'll try it again. And it should take me to that password protected page. There we go. So now I can enter in my password and it will let me view the site live. And again, now I will have that client login page. 
So here's where even though the password is actually on this one we used test, so this is why we want to be careful with the verbiage that we use because it's going to go the same login, I'm sorry, the same lock page will be working for every page that you password protect or for your site if it's password protected. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, obviously you can leave me a message here and I'll respond back to you. Um, but hopefully this helps you customize your site and make it just a little bit uh, more uh, user-friendly, make it look a little bit nicer, a little more visually appealing. Have a great day. Thank you.